Well, hi there, this is DB Team, and alright, it's time to continue playing Dead for Toll with Back to Saturn X, Episode 1. Um, now let me make sure that everything is actually in place. Uh, yep, yeah, alright, we have finished map 17, just checking that I'm actually using the, sa the proper save game. And that actually is going to tie to uh, something I want to talk about. Uh, let me just make sure I am doing things right. Yeah, everything seems to be in place, perfect. Let me quickly save over it and get going with it. Um, right out of the gate, I want to gate. I want to talk about um, the fact that this is the first recording that I'm ever doing with my nice shiny new 144 monitor. Yay! I have moved from the 60 frames world, and now I'm in the 144. And holy shit, I gotta say that this feels so interesting. It's so different. And I mean, I always figured that I, I had eyes decent enough to be able to see the difference between, you know, 60 and 144. I never doubted that I would be able to, to see it and appreciate it. But actually seeing it and appreciating it, oh man, it's a completely different story. It's, it's super cool. But the reason why I wanted to talk about it, other than, you know, to brag about it, is actually the fact that, I don't know, I, I guess you guys are going to have to tell me if you notice anything different in the recording. Because, um, you know, the the main monitor, well, the monitor is at, of course, 144, but the recording is at 60 frames per second, the one that you will be seeing in YouTube and, you know, all of it. So I wonder if, if you notice any difference at all. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Oh, man. Okay, I'm a little bit out of practice. Um, but yeah, you're gonna have to tell me if you notice any difference in in the video. I think it should be fine. I mean, you know, it's, it's still a lot of frames, so it should be able to deliver 60 frames for the video. But I do wonder if it looks any different. Not in regard... Obviously, I'm not talking about the game looking better. But so long as it doesn't look worse, you know, that for some reason the video didn't become choppy uh, because of the different frame rate. So, yeah, uh, do tell me. And while I'm asking you to do stuff, why don't you leave a like on the comment right now? And on top of that, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Because if you're not subscribed, what the hell? And, yeah, so... If you're wondering why should, why should you subscribe, uh, I realized that thanks to henry henry shout outs to you man for realizing that this is indeed the best logic that if you if you're if you're wondering why you should subscribe to me it's because yes oh yeah i don't know i said it in one video and henry henry is a member of our discord by the way so in case you don't know what the hell i'm talking about oh shit oh shit i'm playing really bad If you don't know what we're talking about with the because yes, it's because you're not part of our Discord. In that case, you need to fix that ASAP. Uh, link to our Discord is in the description. So, yeah, I'm just trying to upsell everything. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like, join the Discord, join my Twitch, join everything and whatnot. Because yes, all of it is because yes. Or I'm not going to make that jump because actually that is breaking the map. But... Something's gonna happen here, isn't it? Nice. Alright, so what did I get? I haven't gotten a key yet. Uh, so yeah, this is my first recording. I don't know. And, and I wonder, can you tell any difference as to how I'm playing? Because I, I'll say that thanks to the high refresh rate, I feel like I play more frantic now because I can see more things happening at, at all times. I go like, oh... I don't even want to say this, and probably it wouldn't even show in this game, but I feel like 144 hertz for some reason make me makes me aim a little better. Like things seem so well, things are so smooth that I can realize a little better um, where to shoot and all of that. I don't know. Might be just bullshit. Maybe I'm just trying to convince myself that it's not a completely superfluous um, upgrade. Because, I mean, so here's the story as to why I got this this um, this monitor. Um, I think I talked about this in another video, but oh well. In case you didn't watch that other video. Uh, basically, I had to get an upgrade for... No, I had to... to my nephew need, needed a computer 
So all that we were missing was monitor to give him my computer. And then I was like, well, I do have two monitors, but I use them both. And for a moment, I'm like, do I really use them both? Like, really? Well, no, I, I actually do. Because, you know, it makes my life for when I'm recording for or when I'm streaming, when I'm doing anything like that, super easy. Because in that way, I get to realize when I'm actually really recording, if things are showing right on the screen and all of that shit. So basically, my second monitor, monitor is used for monitoring the, the, oh shit, the status of recordings and all of that. And on top of that, when I'm not doing it, it's just cool to have the other monitor to be um, having something there playing or whatever while I'm doing other stuff. So anyway, I was wondering, do I really need it? And when I realized that I did need it, it's like, yeah, I'm not able to just give him my monitor. But then I thought, well, what if, what if I actually use this as a, as a pretext to finally upgrade my monitor? Because for the longest time I've thought about it, like, you know, maybe, maybe I should upgrade my monitor. Um, the monitor that I had, I had been using was good. It's an HP monitor, uh, 27 inches. Which I like the size, I like the monitor being big. I'm not too much about super high resolution, like 100, uh, 40, 1440, uh, 40, 1440p. I'm not necessarily wanting that, but you know, I do like being able to see even the small letters and things like that. So that was fine, but it's in this 60 frames per second. And then, you know, uh, once I got my computer upgraded, I remember reading or seeing somewhere that it said like if you're gonna if, if you're gonna bu build yourself a computer you better not bottleneck it you know and in this case technically the bottleneck was my monitor because sure my computer was able to deliver a bajillion frames because the gpu is powerful the cpu is powerful but the monitor could only deliver 60. so i did think like well maybe i'm bottlenecking it but i'm fine with it so i i basically i basically just um convince myself that yeah it's fine it's fine we don't need something crazy but now with this idea that well i mean i, I might have to give him my monitor so i need to buy another monitor originally i only thought of buying like um a simple monitor you know a 1080p 27 inch uh, monitor and then I was like, do I need another 27 inch if it's going to be my secondary monitor? Like, no, maybe I could do with a 24 even. I don't know. So I was thinking about it. And then I'm like, w wait a second. Why if I stop considering that the other mon the monitor that I'm going to buy is going to be a secondary? And instead, my current primary becomes the secondary. And that's when I started thinking like, oh, well, maybe now is the time to actually buy a high refresh rate monitor. And uh, yeah, that's that's how it started. But then when I saw the prices, because you know, they're not exactly cheap. I mean, they're not as expensive as they used to be, but they're still considerably more expensive. Twice as expensive as the monitor I was gonna, I was considering. So it took a, quite a bit of convincing, self-convincing for me to buy this. Because um, I'm like, eh, I don't know, what if I get used to? a bajillion frames and then suddenly a game can only run at 60 frames per second and i'm gonna feel like oh my god this looks so choppy it looks horrible but so and that legit was a it was and is still a concern that i have about this but in the end you know oh that's why they were giving me the i'm like why are they giving me this there's no lab anywhere oh maybe here It's a party and I kill if I want to, kill if I want to. So yeah, in the end, I, I did buy the monitor. I've been enjoying it a bit. To be honest, I haven't been able to use it too much because, uh, you know, IRL and all of that shit. I've been busy, so I haven't had a lot of time to play. But man, it feels so different. The smoothness is so, so, so nice. And I wanted to show my my wife the, the the difference on the frame rate, but the reality is that I really couldn't because A, she's not as sensitive to frame rate as I am. 
And on top of that, she gets, you know, you know the story, she gets dizzy with first-person shooters, and I think this is, a first-person shooter is probably one of the best places to show the, the, the difference between between the refresh rates. So it's like, nah. Oh, yes, 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 that's a rune for the... But you know what, actually, I'm gonna check if there's a key somewhere over here. Because I don't want to pick up the rune and then find a key and not be, not be able to pick it up. Because... You know what, I'm gonna try, I'm just not gonna save. Cool. Alright, there's a party cooking over there. I'm gonna let them be. Oh, I'm back here. So I guess I really was supposed to go down there. Boom. Boom shack a lot, that motherfuckers. You know what? That's actually a very nice place to use this for. Wow, this shit is fucking indestructible. Alright, I'll come back for that, but... So what? Did something open? I don't even know if I have that. I think I may have that. Isn't this where I came from? Oh, wait a second. Oh my god, there was a key over there. I just completely missed it because... Corpses. There we go. All right. Got the key. Let's do this over. Oh, shit. But what about the upgrade that they had dropped? Hope they dropped it again. They drop it again or... Maybe at least for it to be an upgrade that I already had. Come on. I always love this demon rune because it's just basically having a tremendously powerful lightning gun. How could you not like that? Oh, now over here. Party. Oh, hello. Well, I think this is as good as it's gonna get for the rune, so it's fine. I already had that, but it's cool. Oh yeah, and I already had also both of the upgrades for this, so we're okay. Aha, uh -huh, so now I have to find a yellow key. But what did this open? Does that allow me to go somewhere? Oh, no. Alright, I'm a little bit of a... thick boy. I have, I have not... Only now I realize that I have really haven't been using my... BFG at all. It's it's really curious how in Doom Eternal they I mean in Doom Eternal 16 you had all of three BFG shots available. Um and then in Doom Eternal they were like, nope, three is too many. Let's make them two. But honestly it works. Three shots, not a bad amount to have. I mean, two shots. Oh, hello, Mr. Big Boy. <laughs> Alright, I wanted to pick this, but I already had it. Okay, cool. Uh, have I been here? I don't believe so. And there's an auto map. Oh, how to get that? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at me finding secrets and shit. Okay, so that's how I get looking. There's a bunch of dudes. See, who said that there was no quick switching in, in this game? People who never really tried it.
Mm-hmm. Cool. I heard somebody teleporting right behind me. I gotta say, I still like that in this game the cells can be used. Uh, I mean, the, the Gauss cannon and the plasma rifle don't use the same ammunition. I like that split. Alright, so now I got the blue key. That means that I can go to the same part where I was unlocking shit. If I actually get to remember where it was. Over here, cool. Hmm, nice. But you know what, I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna try the paths. And see where they take me. And I'm gonna start my saves coming, because yes. Ah, you know what. Holy shit. Alright, it's fine. There's a lot of BFG ammo on this level. Oh, it's picking up. Look at that. All right, there's the yellow key. And by the way, how many secrets? Five secrets. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be finding secrets to get a completionist here. Yeah, I figured I, I could feel that there was something in there. All right, let's let's do some tree chopping with this thing. <laughs> All right, that didn't work. I'm ready for you, Mr. Fatty. No, oh, man, this the sound of this turret is fantastic when it's like this. Once you acquire in Doom 2016, once you acquire the what is it called? Ur uranium something? Oh, whatever the hell. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, once you acquire the thing, they sound so bad. The, the, the gun suddenly sounds horrible. I've been forgetting to... You see how I keep on trying to switch to the gauss cannon, but I just don't have ammo for it. Ow! I haven't been chainsawing enough enemies. Oh, okay. Party. Speaking of chainsaw. Spasiba. Alright. I thought I heard somebody over here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, why not? I thought I saw fuel there. Yes, I did. Yeah, suddenly not having to be as limited as in Karen took, where you only have three um, fuel pips. It's like I feel like I can waste it so freely over here. Which honestly, is, I understand that that's why they nerfed it in, in from Doom 2016. Uh, what was it like? Five pips that you could get in Doom 2016, I believe. Oh, when did I get the 33? Point. Ah! Two health calculated. That's how you do things over here. Alright. So what now? Wait a second, that's a secret. I'm not sure if this is a secret. It's a something. Oh no, it just takes me back here. Okay. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And somebody wants not too long oh shit. Somebody told me that the um, hell racers in this mod were pretty damn difficult. Not like complaining, just saying that it gave gave them a lot of problems. And I'm like, yep, that's exactly what they were supposed to do. Cause you know, oh shit! Ah, fuck it. Okay, didn't work. Cause you know, being the replacement of. Um, Um, of a chain gun, gu chain gun guy, which is, you know, arguably one of the most annoying enemies in 2016. 
Oh yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, I basically just didn't want to deal with the summoner. That's why I murdered it with the BFG. The rest I can deal with. Oh, where? There you go. Alright, that's good enough. Um, yeah, replacing the chain gun guys. Of course, they had to be an absolute pain in the ass. Because, you know, the these guys, the the health racers used to be kind of pushovers in D14 in previous versions. And, you know, that's just a bit of a balancing issue. Because, you know, when you think of chain gun guys, one chain gun guy might be a bit annoying and that's all. But when you see how they get used in, in something like, what is it, Plutonia? The one that everybody hates. Um, that's when you realize that they have a certain role, a certain snipey role that um, they're really dangerous. They might not be extremely accurate at long distance, but when they hit, they hit hard. Uh, and obviously when there's a lot of them, then it becomes an absolute nightmare. So that's what I try to replicate, where if you're too close to one of these dudes, it's gonna hurt. If you're far away from one of these dudes, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be hard for them to hit you. But when you have a bunch of them, all of them shooting at you at the same time, then that's when you're really gonna start crying. So yeah, in a way I suppose I succeeded at making him pretty damn annoying. Oh, here's the key. Again. Oh sh- ah, fuck all of you. <laughs> I'm not dealing with it. Double BFG across the level. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. And also the same person. I'm sorry if I forgot your name, guy. If if you're if you're watching this, um, but I'm bad with names. I'm bad with my my memory is garbage. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, uh, he was also talking about how the um, I missed something here. Yeah, the harvester. It's very very dangerous and in a way it makes sense because both of these enemies are the ones that have uh, medium range hit scan versus pretty much all of the other enemies only having projectiles so it makes sense that these are particularly difficult but more so in not only because of the hit scan nature but also because they were like i just explained why the uh, the hell racer was meant to be an asshole but as far as why the harvester also needed to be an asshole you know, because Arc Vials by design, they're meant to be assholes. And that's what the Harvester replaces. But the Arc Vials have the, the ability to resurrect enemies, right? And even the Summoner in, in this mod, of course, can summon enemies. But if the Harvester, whatever monster is replacing an Arc Vial, cannot do something that drastic, that can be such that problematic, what I tend to do is just make them really damn dangerous at least either with the damage not so much with the health not necessarily they need to be attacked but they definitely need to be something to be considered more bfg ammunition jeez do i have the gasling rotator yes i do all right just that once you have in this version of of D4G, once you have the Gatling Rotator, the spin-up of the chain gun is almost non-existent, so it's much better for dealing damage all of a sudden, as opposed to, you know, the long wind wind-up. So in a way, it works a bit closer to the um, standard chain gun of Doom Eternal, which is a good thing. Alright, how the hell do I get this armor? Oh, maybe from above. That would make sense. And this thing deals a lot, a lot of damage. Like Phil would happily say, "Phil, no, no, that's a lot of damage." Thank you, Phil. Almost got me killed. Worth it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't a secret. Come on, that needed to be a secret. But yeah, you can see how it, it really starts shooting 
at a very decent speed immediately and then still has a little bit of wind up for it to go full speed in which case it's gonna do a little bit more damage but all right so that's it for this room it seems that this room was only about resources because there was no key you know anything so that's fine i didn't want resources anyway do i have all the keys now to unlock this shit ah, i should have just used them for ammo fine there's something here okay Nah, also ammo. I was considering how to kill him, but then it's like, yeah, still one more ammo. Specifically for this gun, I keep on using it over and over. You can't blame me. I'm a total rail in her core. Am I getting the next key? No, wait a second, I came back. Well, maybe I already have the keys that I needed. That's fine. Like, maybe that wasn't the moment to say, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah, it's just that I hadn't been using the, um... I was gonna say Maker. The... This thing. Reaper. And I'll keep on saying that it's both funny and interesting how close the concept of the Unmaker and this weapon are in the sense that you know, I talked about this already in a previous video in this same talk group, but you know, the fact that they serve the same purpose that are really good for dealing with single enemies or small groups of enemies, just it's more about the the DPS than than it is about crowd control hold on, just that I see something over here, is that a secret? This is a secret. Alright, so three more secrets to go. Can I find them in two minutes and a half? Most definitely not, but I think I see one. Where is it? No, over here. I see something up there, but how do I get up there? Oh, probably I can just drop from here. Let's assume that I reach this place the normal way. I can do this. Yep. Yep. Two more secrets. Oh my god, I'm getting close. Can I see them, though? I don't see them. They don't They don't seem obvious to me. Wait a second, what is that red thing over there? That's probably just... No, it's, I was wondering about this, but it's a control sector, probably. Um... You need know you. I have no idea. Hmm, let me just have a quick look around here. Does this place look a little... looks a little... suspicious. Have I been there? Can I get there? Oh, you can shoot it! And actually, it seems that you need to shoot it to open it. Did I just find another secret? How the hell did I get there? What's it over here? Then over there, and I just tried to dash. Because of course... So the thing was definitely about shooting it, but you can't shoot it in normal Doom like this. Maybe like... Ah, there we go. Yes! Yes! Look at me finding even more secrets and shit. Literally, I'm just missing one secret. Wow. DBT becoming a secret finder? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm evolving now. But there's just a one missing, and that one doesn't seem to be marked. It's not obvious on the auto map, so it's probably some sector somewhere that I have, I have already seen. And yeah, I'm double jumping right now, not to break the map. I'm, it's just to visit places that I've already been to, so. 
so that I don't need to run the normal way. Again, I try to break maps responsibly, all right? Not even break it, more like... Have I been there? Yeah, of course, it's just going around here. Hmm. Hmm. That's one doom. Space Marine. Uh, I don't think I see it. Look, people, I don't. it's not that I want to cheat, all right? But we're already at the 30 minutes mark, so I'm just going to cheat. I mean, not cheat. I'm going to assist myself with a, a small amount of map information. Yeah. Oh, it could be this. I see something over there. Yeah, I think that's what it is. All right, all right. How do I get up? down there and I go like this where am I yeah yeah that that was the path to go for sure uh, am I going the right way can I make this jump yes I can I swear about I was about to dash again here it's here how because look it there's something behind it all right let's do one thing i'm gonna not clip it to confirm oh that's not even the wall oh my god no it's not a secret this is just a ah oh, it's just this thing ah oh, fuck that's not a secret okay confirm then what the hell I am not cheating. You are cheating. I don't see anything too obvious. I see one one hidden thing over here, but there's nothing in this sector. So that makes me think that that's just not it. Same thing over here. This sector, it's it's hidden, but I don't see anything. Hmm. Guys, I think I think this is it. I, I'm not gonna be able to find it. I was I was so close. I flew flew so close to the sun and my wings are burned now. And I smell like toast. Legit, I don't think I see it. No, I'm just gonna do one quick because I feel like if there was a place for a secret to be, it had to be in here. But oh wait a second. Yes, it's in there. I think Maybe Here No nah, Never mind. I thought that maybe there was some box that I could get into or get on top of But it doesn't seem that any of the this boxes or anything has anything in particular so I'm not cheating all right this is this isn't cheating this is um out of bounds exploration what the hell is that little point over there I need to explore what the hell is this oh hello I found some little tiny sector all right fuck it I don't know where the secret is let's just get out of here let me disable the cheat and i mean no cheat it's not a cheat it's a uh how did i say a traveling assistant method for yes how do i get out of here i forgot oh that's how come on yeah all right fine i tried all right you saw me i made this video five minutes longer than it needed to be I don't know if it was worth it. Again, I was close, but not quite there, so. Sad times. Oh! Oh my god! Bruh. We did it, boys.
definitely found the secrets in the most legit way in under 36 minutes beautiful beautiful all right everybody so i don't know if i said it yeah i said it already right like the video leave me a comment because we need comments in this thing and uh yeah i'm glad to be playing this again we're getting close to the last third of the map set and that's good for me because i never finished map sets so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one